Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley, and we're taking a look at the uh, Fender Kingman Bass. Uh, it's part of Fender's uh, California series, released last year. Um, they're all made in China, and they're all uh, relatively affordable basses. Uh, this guy retails for about $500, uh, and as you can see, it features this neck that's based on the classic Fender jazz bass neck, it's sort of 70s looking neck. It's got the block inlays, it's got a bound fingerboard, uh, it's 20 frets, uh, and it has the same uh, profile and neck radius uh, until you get to the heel here, obviously, uh, that uh, a sort of 70s era jazz bass would have. Actually, it's probably a little bit thicker. It feels probably more like, uh, you know, sort of like late 60s era jazz bass because it's definitely, it's got a little heft, uh, more so than the super thin necks usually associated with 70s uh, Fender jazz basses. Uh, but this neck plays really well. Right now we're listening to um, the pickup system that's built into this. Uh, there's a Fishman uh, undersaddle pickup and a Presis uh, preamp, which is a, it's a fairly simple Fishman preamp. You get a three band EQ, uh, you get phase invert and volume control. Uh, it does have a nice little tuner built in here, uh, which you can hear mutes the signal. Kind of a nice little feature when you're playing in a live situation. It's like having a little tuning pedal. Pretty cool. Uh, this bass does feature a solid spruce top. So while the neck is really cool and, and it plays really well, uh, this bass is a little bit neck heavy. Uh, if I kind of just let it go, you can see the neck dives quite a bit. Um, I would have maybe placed the strap button sort of on, at the heel of the bass. It probably would have balanced a little bit better, sort of shifted the center of gravity a little bit. So a little bit annoying, but you know, you rest your hand on here and uh, <laughs> and on here, you rest your hand here, and that keeps it pretty well balanced and uh, and playing pretty comfortably for a live situation. So we've been listening to the plugged in tone. So let's just switch over to this SM81 and listen to it. Uh, listen to its acoustic tone. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's not really a, a very big live tone or live acoustic tone. Uh, it's kind of a small sounding instrument, um, especially when you play finger style acoustic. Let me dig a pick out of here. It does sound a little bit better when it's picked. Kind of a cool uh, little muted classic rock pick tone. Um, kind of good for punky sounding stuff. I don't know if you'd play a lot of punk on an acoustic bass, but anyway, there you go. So that's the Fender Kingman uh, bass. Uh, it's single cutaway, Fishman Electronics. Really great playing neck, even if it is neck heavy. Uh, retails for about $500. So I'd say uh, if you're looking for a bass that you're just going to play acoustically, this probably isn't the, uh, the choice for you. If you're looking for a bass that plays really well, that you're going to play plugged in in a live context um, and looks really cool, then the Fender Kingman bass is your bass. Uh, you've been watching GearWire.com, and I'm Owen O'Malley. Thanks for checking us out.